Uh, there's another uh, question related to the same graph over here. Um, they are saying that which of the following graphs could represent acceleration as a function of time. So uh, we just talked about this, I think, a couple of questions back that acceleration of velocity time curve, uh, sorry, the slope of the velocity time curve gives the acceleration, isn't it? So what is the slope of a horizontal line? That's zero, of course. It's constant velocity means zero acceleration. So till two, not two seconds, this is about 1.5-ish, till 1.5-ish seconds, it's somewhere mm -hmm. over here, right? It's till about 1.5-ish uh, seconds, um, the acceleration is zero. So it has to be either this or this or this. It cannot be option D because option D shows an acceleration between 1 to 1.5. That's not it. Okay. Now, later on, uh, let's talk about whether this acceleration is, it's definitely not constant, right? It's definitely not constant. So it has to, it cannot be D, it, sorry, it cannot be A. Because if it, if the acceleration was constant, then the slope would have been constant. Do you think that the slope is constant? Not really. If slope has to be constant, it has to be a straight line like this, you know, straight line like this, which is not a straight line. It's changing. So if it is not a straight line, the acceleration is not constant. Okay, so whether acceleration is decreasing or increasing? Well, let's find the slope. Whether the slope is increasing or decreasing, that's the answer for acceleration. Let's take two points. For those who have a background of AP Calc, I can just say that this is a concave up function. So the, uh, uh, so the rate of change is increasing in nature. So the acceleration uh, should definitely be increasing in nature. And uh, I can just conclude from that sense. But okay, I'm gonna give you a more generalistic approach. Uh, over here, this is the slope, right? And over here, this is the slope. Now tell me which one is more steep? Obviously this one, this is steeper, right? Is steeper and what is this a negative value or a positive value obviously a negative value so it's it's getting less and less steep right less and less steep means over here let's say its value was negative uh, hypothetically let's say negative 10 meter per second square so this will become negative 2 meter per second square this will become negative 1 and finally it will become 0 right so it's going for a more negative to a less negative number now option b is going from less negative to a more negative number that doesn't make any sense so it has to go from more negative number to a less negative number which makes option c as our best choice i hope you you understand this it's just about the tangent you know the tangent steepness is decreasing so as you can see that the acceleration the magnitude of the acceleration rather is uh, is decreasing so it has to be option c that's our best choice